说到情况，就咱俩了。应该等一会儿吧，时间我又看了一下时间，应该是没错的。OK， 这个感觉不如上上次那个人多。我看的历史的会议好像也就六七个、七八个的样子。但是都比较深度，哎，也上了。Hello。Hello， how's it going？ 很好 ，Thank you。Hello， 嗯 ，All right。All right. Is、uh, Shao and Meng? Is that is that right? Thanks for coming.、Uh, we'll just wait for a few more people. <clears throat> super super late for you, right? <laughs> It's eleven p.m. here. Did you say eleven p.m.?、Uh, yes. Gotcha. Okay. So twelve hour, twelve hour difference to me. <laughs> well, <I'll> sleep, sleep. <laughs> I appreciate you guys、um, joining and staying up for today. Just announce in the channel that we're starting. Um. Cool. And you're uh, you're here to talk about、uh, how do you pronounce that? Hamli. Yes, I'm introducing the Hamli project. Fantastic.、Um, good morning, Ricardo. How are you? Good morning. Thanks for、uh, thanks for joining early、uh, early in the day today. You you love the early meetings, though. Yeah, this is eight a.m. for me, and it's it's eleven p.m. for our、uh, presenters today. So appreciate them coming late at night. Eleven p.m. <laughs> Amazing. Um. So maybe we could give it one more minute and then get started. Sounds good. <clears throat>
Um, cool. So we're, we're five after, I think, um, yeah, welcome. Uh, please introduce yourself and why don't you, uh, go ahead with, uh, with your presentation. Okay. Let me share my screen. Awesome. All right. We're going to have me first because we, we had, a the other, uh, feast on, on the agenda, right? But so we'll do a Hami yeah. first and. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Do it. Do Hami first. Yep. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Li Mengxue, and I'm from the Fourth Paradigm. Uh, and my, I'm introducing Project Hami, which is heterogeneous AI computing virtualization middleware. It is developed by Force Paradigm and Dog Up. And in a word, HAMI is a project to provide the virtualization ability to third-party heterogeneous AI computing devices in Kubernetes. Uh, this figure exp explains itself. Um, without HAMI in the default Kubernetes, if we allocate uh, two tags each with two GPUs, we have to use four GPUs in this uh, in, in this figure. But with Hami, we can share a GPU with different tasks, so we can save two GPUs for other tasks. Yes. Uh, the feature for Hami is it can support uh, many different heterogeneous AI computing devices, and it can um, provide the device sharing on Kubernetes, and it can, and it can uh, provides a hard resource isolation inside the container, which is the major uh, feature of Hami, and it provides different uh, functions as well. And the architect of Hami is shown in this figure below. It consists of a mutating webhook, a scheduler extender, uh, and uh, different device plugins for different heterogeneous AI computing devices, and the different uh, resource isolation techniques inside the container. Uh, we use Honeycore for NVIDIA GPU, uh, which we'll explain in, in the next. Uh, yes. Uh, the scheduler assigns a task to proper nodes, and uh, the, uh, the device plugin on that node mounts the corresponding devices and files, and then it passes and, and then Inside the container, different isolation techniques does, um, does their job and limit the device 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 resource usage. And uh, the Honey Core is is a library which uh, hijacks itself between the CUDA runtime and the CUDA driver. It can record the device uh, device memory usage of each task, and it can limit the task uh, uh, the memory usage of each task. So uh, it can guarantee that inside the container, this container won't use uh, more device memory than it allocates. Yes. Uh, and uh, it can uh, it can achieve the uh, things like uh, in this figure, if we request two GPUs, each we limit their device memory to 10 G. And inside the GPU, we type NVIDIA SMI, we can see the uh, device memory is limited to 10 G, just as we, um, as we assign here. Yes, and the scheduler will record the 10 G usage inside itself, and uh, it will uh, cut the remaining 22 G, uh, remaining free, uh, free device memory to other tasks, yes. Uh, and it can 
and we support other heterogeneous AI computing devices as well. Just like uh, Cambric MLU, it has uh, 23G idle. And we, if we assign 20% of device memory to, to a task, then inside the task, we can see uh, 4.6G. Uh, it equals 20% of the entire device memory. Yes. And it can support other devices like Innovator GPU, which is 30, 32G in total. And if we uh, assign 60, 64 units of device memory, each unit represents 256 uh, megabytes. And we here have 16, uh, 16 GB in this container. Yes. And the Huawei Accent uh, NPO, it has 64 G in total. And uh, if we assign 16 G to this container, uh, we can get what we assigned in this container. Yes. Uh, in summary, it highly allows the uh, resource isolation inside the container, just uh, as the full picture indicates. Yes. Besides that, Hami can uh, assign a task to certain types of device. Uh, in this figure, we want this uh, task to, to be launched on a A100 type GPU. We will we can set annotations here. It will uh, it will assign the assign the job to corresponding A100 GPU. And we can avoid be assigned to A100 GPU. You see, Nvidia can no use, so it won't be assigned to A100 GPU. Yes, uh, and and we support other features like uh, task priority. Uh, it can be assigned using a uh, environment variable. Uh, if a high priority task will preempt the uh, computing device of low priority task. In this figure shows, if we have a high priority task uh, using uh, computing resources, then the low priority task will be blocked until the end of the high priority task. And we also support device memory over subscription in NVIDIA GPU. Uh, it, uh, let's consider a, a A10 type of GPU, which has, which has uh, 23, G, uh, 20, 23 GB, uh, and if and we can set the device memory scaling to three, then it will have 64 G in total, which is which consists of 23 G device memory and 60 and 46 virtual device memory, which is uh, just like a swap in the memory. Yes. And using that techniques, we can launch more inference than we normally could. Uh, in this figure, if we don't use the uh, uh, memory over subscription, we can only launch eight inferences. With the help of the memory over, over subscription, we can launch uh, 16. Yes. Question, do uh, you have a question, Stephen? Uh, OK. Yeah, I, I had a question on um, kind of the, the previous couple slides. Um, when you're specifying in the pod for a specific GPU, yes, can you can you can you not specify a specific one and then just get something in general, or do you have to specify? Uh, if you don't if you don't specify, then it will it it will randomly select a GPU for the task. If you mm -hmm. don't specify, if you specify, however, it will it will allocate to the certain type of GPU you just uh, specified. Otherwise, it will be in pending state. If there is no GPU, uh, if there is no uh, types of GPU you allocate, you want to allocate. Okay, so you you could. You could specify none, and then it would try to find something that that matches your requirements. Could yes. Just in general, okay. How, how would the like the limits work in that case, where you have like Nvidia specific parameters? Can you? Um, is there like a general way to say two GPUs, not just Nvidia GPUs? Uh, yes. In this example, we specify two Nvidia GPUs. 
and this is the NVIDIA CPU type. Mm -hmm. If you want to use other types of CPUs like Cambric, you have to use another uh, resource name. Yes. Uh, but the uh, format of the uh, allocation is, is like the same. You have to specify the number of cards you see in the container and the, each of each cards use how much uh, device memory and each of them use how, ma how many percent of computing resources. Yes. They are all in the format, in, the, in, in that format. Uh, especially the card, the device memory, and the computing resource. Yes. Okay. So do, does that mean you really, you have to choose one that, that you want to use, like the the Cambricon or the the Nvidia, you have to you have to pick essentially. Yes, yes, um, because um, uh, let's assume uh, let let's assume a uh, PyTorch task. Uh, the image used for Nvidia and for Cambricon is not the same. If we select mm -hmm. a, a image which can be run on Nvidia, it can be directly applied to other types of CPU, you have to, um, you, you have to manually convert it to a, to an image which can be run on other CPU. Yes. So the, so a task mm -hmm. must be, um, must, uh, must be, uh, specified to which CPU it can be run. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Uh, okay, let's continue. And we support uh, the scheduler policies like BeanPack and Spread. With BeanPack, we, it, it is similar to the best fit policy. Uh, yes, we, uh, we, we will have a higher score of the GPU which is already be used. And the spread is, is on the country. We, uh, we, we will uh, have a higher score if the GPU is not in, not be used. Yes. Uh, and the overhead introduced by Honeycore is very, very low. Uh, in fact, uh, I haven't, um, I think it's less than 0.05% overhead compared to uh, directly running on a media device by in with soft time core. Yes, just like the benchmark uh, suggests. Yes. Uh, and, we, and we have a unified uh, monitor system here. Uh, in this monitor, you can have an overview of the general cluster, uh, like uh, how many different types of devices in this cluster, and how many ports are using the devices and uh, uh, each device, how how much device memory it has been used, and how much of device memory it, it still has free, and the, how how much of computing cores it has been used, and how much of computing cores it, 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 it computing cores it is free. Yes, it can be. Uh, uh, this, this information can be get here. With the uh, with the matrix format and it can it can be pushed to premises and Grafana. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, the later page will be introduced by Zhao Xiao, my co-workers. Hello. Um. Oh, okay. Okay, let's, let's share the screen. Oh. I have a quick quick demo. It's a demo time for Hami. Uh, uh, we have a, a reading, have a Kubernetes cluster with one node and the, the, the load and the load. Have one G GPU, um, P P fourteen. As at the same time, we are reading, uh, if the Nvidia driver or the, uh, UCGM and the container toolkit by the GPU 
operator so we can double check the GPU is work, work as well. We can see the GPU memory. So uh, at, as, at the same time, we already install the Hami by, by Herm. The Hami have three components and the device plugin. Uh, uh, at, the, at, the, at this time, we use the device plugin and to support the Hami. Next, we will use the DRA. And uh, the Hami have a scheduling. So uh, here we are. We have we have seen the describe load. The the Hami will register the uh, results as, as this property. This property is the value is ten. Uh, it's point we the one GPU card can share into the ten task. The ten task can use the one GPU card as at the same time almost. So uh, we have we have a uh, example at, at this at this time we have a GPU bomb deployment use the uh space on the GPU memory and the third person of the GPU core. So this is the deployment YAML. We can see that we use three the property. The, this one is we will use one GPU and the, the GPU memory and the GPU cores. So uh, we apply the YAML. At the same time, we can see the, the pod is already running. So we can see the uh, GPU usage. We, we can see as the as the as the load, we can see the the process this GPU burn use um use not execute. 3000 memory and uh, as at the same time we can use we, we can see the pod uh, excuse the command in the pod we can already see the uh, gpu memory it's not excuse ex the okay this one this one this one can cannot exclude the 3000 and therefore, we can see the GPU burn used less than 3,000 GPU memory. And uh, at the same time, we will scan scan up the GPU burn to uh, three replicas that. And so at the same time, we can see the chip pod used one card achieve the GPU sharing. At the same time, we can see the uh, the host GPU usage, the real, the real usage, both of them uh, not, not exclude the, the request and the limit. Uh, and at the same time, um, AMI also provide the observ observability support uh, to never and uh, the first of all Hami has it has two service to provide the the matrix the first of all, the first one is the Hami with GPU scheduling provides the Kubernetes Kubernetes scheduling matrix such, um, such as the pod uh, request the GPU information. We can we can see the, this one to to get a moment. We can see the the pod allocated the GPU device, the GPU the GPU core percentage and the GPU memory percentage or the limited. 
And if we want to know this real usage of the NVIDIA device, device how we also supported the GPU device neural matrix. Also, we can see this matrix. And we can see the usage. How about the the GPU memory usage? The and the the okay. We can see the GPU burn. The, this one. The the pod use the this card. The real memory usage is is this two thousand and. At hundred, and also we have a matrix to use the host core utilization to support it. How GPU device usage, and of course we have more example. We can see the see the get get up at 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 uh, how many get up get up repo. Such as special for the card type and the um and the U unified memory and the big image. Okay. The the any question about the example? So you can, you, you can't do fractional GPUs, you can only do uh whole GPUs, right? Um, Pardon? Fractional GPUs? You cannot do fractional GPUs, right? You can, you have to do a full GPU, right? Mm -hmm. Fractional, like I, I think like half a GPU cannot you cannot request like a half a GPU or something, right? Uh, we are here to we can allocate a fraction of GPU by uh, appointing the device memory and the device cost. Yes. Okay, and, and then how does it work with the DRA? I think I mean what there's it seems to be like an overlap with the DRA, right? But uh, or does it work together with that or? Um, no, no. Currently, we use the US plugin, and um, but DRA in our roadmap, we use the US plugin to uh to allocate the US to the pod. At the same time, I currently, see. so so so, uh, so, so ready ready to... in the future, yes. So this in will actually map. be updated in the future, like uh, the device plugin once the DRA is is actually um, implemented. Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. Uh, in okay. this version, we are not implemented based on DRA. We use another techniques to implement the fractional GPU allocation. Yes. Uh, but we have been noticed that the DRA is uh, promising new techniques for Kubernetes, and we plan to integrate into Hami in the future version. Got it. Got it. Perfect. Uh, so, so you have the pot allocated. So, do you have a sample uh, uh, of a workload? What What's the type of workload you're running? Uh, this type of is uh, deployment, and uh, it is a GPU burn uh, task. Yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. It's a GPU burn. Got it. Got it. Yeah, the, the GPU burn will, will will burn the GPU and the, um, memory pressure. Got it. So smoke will start coming off from the GPU. No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> uh, but that makes sense. Yeah. So. Uh, so, but potentially you could have like a like a machine learning or AI inference uh, task here instead of a GPU burn. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, in our benchmark, we use the real AI uh, application, but this is quick demo, so we pre prepared the GPU burn. Yes, these techniques can also be applied to large language models as well. Got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And let's let's continue. Uh, we, we also, of course, 
uh, many other projects uh, provide the same ability uh, as Tami. So uh, we have a background to pre presentation for them. Uh, Hami and the Nvidia and the Nvidia driver. And uh, we can see the both of them uh, support GPU sharing, uh, uh, but the uh, driver and Kubernetes device plugin uh, uh, rely on the GPU device supports the time slice and the MPS and the MIG. Uh, the the will some car some some immediate US uh, don't support use the time slice. It has the good component capability in here. At the same time, uh, Hami uh, also supported some flexible schedule policy, just as the um, spread and bin pack and uh, the GPU memory or, or subscription and uh, the GPU core subscription. Or at the same time, the task provided Hami also supported, and uh, this key feature, the NVIDIA device plugin, and uh, uh, don't support it for them. And uh, of course, uh, Hami, um, the, in the current version, Hami uh, also um, based on the ready schedule plugin and the device plugin, but the DRA is the future as we know. <laughs> we will um, design Hami to use the DRA in the future. Uh, and uh, the same time, uh, Hami, uh, the GPU sharing proposal, we also have a uh, compare with other proposals just, just as the MPS and TimeSlice and MIG. And totally, Hami is no check, just, uh, just as the software defend the uh, GPU sharing. So, we have um, the logic partition, but the MIG is the the physic, and uh, and uh, at the same time, Hami also supported the memory protection, but uh, currently we don't support is the memory brand which QS. Um, but other noteworthy we we lead noted the Hami um, support all the GPUs uh, such as uh, because its software defends the the GPU sharing and based on the CUDA CUDA hook in this in this technology and. Uh, and the area. Of course, <laughs> the Hami is we open sourced in 2022. And currently it's it's a CNCF landscape project. Also, we have a fast growing community and uh, already supported NVIDIA and uh, Huawei and other AI device uh, also. We have ten thousand downloads for for the end user. At the same time, um, we had we had uh, we have um, forty for adopters such as um, in our um, in some big big bank and the dark cloud and the China Azure. North information harbor and the other enterprise. Uh, at the last, the Hamis zone map in the next future, we will um, support the DRA and the rich observability supported. Also, we will integrate it with the GPU operator as the, uh, as the 
next year we will want to support the Intel, the GPU device, and any other features. We we also will put in the roadmap. This is our presentation. Any questions? No questions from my side, but yeah, thank you for presenting. This was really helpful and very informational. Uh, uh, so it's, uh, I guess one question is that, that you, you, you plan to um, to join the CNCF for the project or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also have a, have an issue uh, to uh, put, put the hand project to sandbox. So we want, we want to get some help from the target run time, <laughs> this this issue we can open. What is, what uh what are some of the the goals uh, that you have in mind with work uh related to working with the CNCF? Uh, oh, I see you have the issue already. Yeah, yeah we also have already issue. So, uh, any suggestion we can put put this fast, fast forward. Yeah, it makes sense to me. I don't see anything wrong with this. Um, yeah. So I think, I don't know when the next sandbox meeting is. I think it may be in the next few weeks. Mm, and the, this time. Uh, okay, June 10th, yeah. Uh, I, I want to look in this minute we will presentation or just waiting the so what, the, so what we'll do is uh, we post this presentation on the Tag Run Time YouTube channel and then we can make a comment here um mentioning that uh, you presented in Tag Run Time meeting. So I I don't I don't see any issue with joining sandbox and uh, to be honest, sandbox is the bar is not like super high. You don't have to actually have to do a due diligence document. Uh in it seems like you have a stable community. Uh, uh, can you go back to your um, GitHub repository and see? I just want to check a few things. Of course. Okay, so you... We also have our official website, but we we will we doing refactoring in the in this work. The new website will 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 publish in next week. Okay. It's it's do you have contributors from other organizations besides uh yours? Of course. Of course. Yeah, um, okay. This is um Meng Xuan from the uh, first program and this is me from Dark Cloud and this is my um, college and this is the slab from the the another com company and mm -hmm. the many wait a moment and many others. This is the uh, this one. This is the the, the independent independently contributor maybe. And this is the another one. So Makes sense. some different. Okay, uh, maybe we can look at the insights, the contributor. It makes sense, yeah. yeah. Any questions, uh, Stephen, Danielle? Um, maybe, I, maybe you may need a mentor. <laughs> I
I, yeah, I, I think I'm, I'm pretty good. I appreciate all your time, um, and effort today. Um, I guess maybe one, one question. I know you, you talked about other, other projects that might, um, do, do some, some similar things. Um, you know, how, how do you see that either helping you or collaborating in the future or kind of helping towards a, a common goal with when there are other other projects in this area or are are you really unique with your uh heterogeneous capabilities that that kind of thing um Mujian, can you uh okay uh there are uh, some some repositories uh, uh, in the github which uh, which allows to to provide the device sharing on kubernetes including the uh, latest released uh, NVIDIA KYS, uh, Kubernetes device plugin. Uh, it provides the ability of MPS, which can provide the hard uh, isolation inside the containers. But we see it uh, as, uh, as a benefit to our project because in the future, if the uh, MPS is stable, we can interrogate into, into Hami and we can provide a, a better and a stable uh, a resource control inside the container, and we can uh, let the user to select whether to use MPS or use Honeycore, just uh, like we here in the in Project Honey now. Uh, yes, and uh, the other new techniques like DRA, we will happily to um, to be interrogated uh, to interrogate it, to interrogate it in, in the future. Yes, and. Uh, uh, it it will surely help the project uh, uh, from uh, to provide a more stable and uh, uh, we can come up with more features in the future. Yes. Sure. Yes, and the, on the other side, most of the heterogeneous uh, device sharing is based on Nvidia. It's, it's based on Nvidia GPU uh, and. Uh, as far as I know, we are the only project which has the uh, which which is which can be used on other uh, computing devices other than Nvidia. Uh, we can we can be working on Huawei, we can be working on Cambrica, and other uh, other third party devices. We will be happy to um, to to be working with them to provide to 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 be to provide the sharing ability on on the uh, each device manufacturer yes you're planning to support amd gpus and intel GPUs? yes we plan to support intel and amd okay. in, okay. in the future maybe the next year we will support support the intel or amd yes uh, we name it to Hami because it's a uh, heterogeneous AI computing uh, middleware. We are not not just for NVIDIA GPU. We will be working on all sorts of GPU and we, we will uh, manage them in a unified manner, manner and provide the uh, device sharing ability for them all. Yes, that's the unique part of Project Hami. We are not uh, we are not unique because of our internet resource control for NVIDIA, which there are some other projects which can do more or less the same. But we are the only project which can be used on other devices. Uh, yes, and we, and we uh, plan to do so in the future to support more and more. Cool, cool. Um, I guess what one part of the the sandbox application uh, asks about cloud native overlap. Uh, do you? I I I don't see a, a response in that section. It might be useful just to talk about whether there is overlap with existing projects in CNCF or or not, and just have a have a statement there on on how you kind of fit in. Um, I think you have a lot of that already with the fit. But if there is any overlap for the in the sandbox application, I think that would be helpful. Okay, I, at the same time, uh, Hami also 
supported some flexible scheduling based on queries. And we also will support many scheduler enhancement scheduling, such as the beam pack spread also uh, supported in the next in the future, we will suppose the new mile finish or until finish based on the credit scheduling. So this is also the difference from the NVIDIA gas plugin or the DRA. They, they don't care the scheduling policy. Okay. Makes sense. It. Yeah, can you add a statement on the or a statement on the application on the GitHub repository uh, issue? So that, that's yeah, what Steven. Okay. Yeah, if if you open that that sandbox issue tab um, that you have, okay. there's there's a section in there. Um, where is it? Yeah, yeah. If you just scroll up a little bit, there's a section about cloud native overlap. Uh, kind of down in the middle, uh, down, uh, I think right above the landscape section. Okay, this uh, there? Uh, uh, yeah. There you go, cloud native overlap. Yeah, if you could just put a response there and, and talk about if you do overlap or not, similar projects in that area, how you um, you kind of kind of are unique or things you overlap with, I think that would be really helpful. Okay, okay, we will respond to the letter. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, appreciate yeah, and that. Then what, yeah, what, what we'll do is actually, uh, after this meeting, we'll post the video here, and even Danielle and I will have a brief chat, and we'll put a statement there on the on recommendation for Sandbox. Okay, thanks. So much. Thank you. I appreciate it. So we appreciate it. Oh, okay. So any other questions about Hami? Uh, I don't know if Danielle has a question. Uh, no, I'm actually good. Thank you. Thank you so much for the presentation. Thanks. The tiger on time. Yes. Th thank you for presenting, Hami, today. Appreciate all your time. Um, thanks very much. All right. Thanks. 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 Bye. All right. We'll end. We'll end here. Thanks very much. See you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.